a nice spot to put the dot. And you, you, this is how it works. And so we have a pretty good uh, gap filling here. And moving around, yeah, doesn't look too bad. Okay, I'm seeing a problem with the chest dot. So I want to know what's going on with the chest dot. I'm going to go to where the chest dot is labeled. And I want to know what's going on. Okay, so it tells me there's no gap present. So I'm just going to follow this dot and... No, it's, it's, it's fine. It's actually fine. This is actually the real dot right here. So, you know, we could use this to our advantage. Let, let me show you a technique to, to how to use this. So if we go back, 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 delete and unlabel forwards, and we go forwards to where the correct dot is, and I'm just going to use the correct dot, and you'll notice that there's now a trajectory back on that one as well. And, and I actually like that better. Um, at least I think I do. Yes, I do. And you'll see it kind of jumps right there over to that. Let's go ahead and delete backwards to get rid of all that now that we're here. Okay, so now let's call that chest and let's try to fill the chest gap one more time and see if it does a little bit better job. Okay, so we have to make sure we pick the right dot and it's going to try to fill the trajectory. Let's let's pick the right, uh, sorry, the left shoulder this time is the trajectory. Pick source, left shoulder, and eh, it doesn't look all that different. So let's go ahead and say fill. Uh, it actually did a better job at filling this time. It's still again moving around just a bit. We can do some mathematical averaging to make that look a little better, but I'm, I'm fairly happy with that. Okay, that's good. Now, uh, let's see what else we have to fill. T10. Let's go ahead and do that. Okay, T10. Let's just go ahead and pick C7 to fill T10. And we'll notice that this is going to be easy. Yes, very easy, very nice, already done. Okay, let's, um, we have a toe, wrist medial, heel, finger, and wrist medial on the other side. Okay, so let's, um, Let's start with the arms and move down. So let's just go left wrist medial. And you can always use your, you can mouse over and that's gonna be left wrist. So let's pick that left wrist and let's go ahead. And we actually have a dot, but if you look at your trajectory, it goes right through. So we can go ahead and we can say fill and that filled it pretty well, pretty well. It's off by a little bit, but I don't think it's gonna affect our animation too much as you can see as I play it through. It looks pretty good. Okay, so let's do the right wrist medial. And again, we don't wanna have the left wrist. We wanna pick the source and we wanna use something like the wrist. And my guess is, is this is actually our dot. And I tell you what I'm gonna do. This is a big gap, 29 to 29. That means we have almost 60 frames where there's no dot. I'm going to go ahead and label that as uh, right wrist medial to try to give it a little help to picking the proper right wrist medial to picking the, and I'm going to hit escape and I'm going to try the gap again. Okay, so now you'll notice our gaps are smaller and that looks quite a bit nicer. So we're going to fill and probably that's our real dot again. And I think I'm just going to go ahead and pick, no, you know what I'm gonna do? I, I am gonna label that right wrist medial. And I'm gonna try to fill the gap again. And mm, let's go ahead, right wrist medial, and hit escape, fill again. And now we have a very small gap to fill. And we have one other one, again, quite small. I'm gonna fill that. And let's go ahead and I believe right wrist medial is there. And 
So what we've done is we've broken our big gap into a bunch of smaller gaps. And I think that this is our finger, this is our right wrist medial, and this is just an extra dot. So I'm gonna go ahead and pick that. And I'm gonna hit escape, I'm gonna click that. And I'm gonna say fill, and I'm gonna say fill, and I'm going to say, hmm. I believe it made a mistake here, and it thinks that that's the finger dot, which I don't think it is. I believe that's our wrist dot. We can go backwards, and we can kind of check, although it looks like our, let's go back to where, ah, there's our finger. Okay, so we can follow this forwards, and it kind of jumps around there a little bit. We'll have to fix that. No, I believe that that actually is the finger. Okay, so I made a mistake. Let's undo and undo again. And let's delete and unlabel forwards. Okay, so, and what's this? Finger, yes, I believe that is the finger dot. Yes, there we go. There's our right wrist medial. I went forward a few frames. I shouldn't have done that. Let's, let's go back to where we can see the right wrist medial. I went back quite a bit. And that should be here. Click on that so we can see down here. And we can zoom out and we can follow our traces until where the dot disappears. Right about, you can follow this in the traces. It's gonna disappear here. It comes back. Let's label it right wrist medial. Let's hit escape, let's click on the dot. And now we see we have a trajectory to the end of the trial with uh, two more gaps. And let's just go ahead and, let's go ahead and fill these gaps. Fill and fill. Okay, they look pretty good. Okay, so let's go ahead and fill the finger. Now, our right wrist dot was never missing. So let's go ahead and pick that as the source for the finger. And you'll notice, again, this is a fairly large gap. Good idea to zoom back and forth and see if the finger dot is ever present. And it actually is. So it's present right here. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna label that as right finger, and then we're gonna click the gap again, and we notice this time it's a little bit smaller. And let's go ahead, and we picked our right wrist, Let's say fill and fill. Okay, now we can go back through here and we can see it didn't do that perfect of a job filling that gap. You'll see that the finger and the, the wrist are a little off from each other. That's probably gonna be okay though. Let's just leave that for now. We, we can always override any errors in animation in Motion Builder. What we want to do though is fill all the gaps. Okay, so uh, let's go to left heel and let's go ahead and this is just a one. So let's go ahead and let's just try, yes. Spline worked pretty nicely for that. That's good. Let's pick right toe and actually our right toe is indeed present. So let's go ahead and split that gap up just a bit. Now we have two smaller gaps and we can pick either of our I don't want to use the right wrist to predict that, so let's go ahead and pick the MT5 dot, and again, it knew where it was, so let's go ahead and say fill, and we, for fun, we can pick the spline or the pattern, and there we go, there you have it. That's how to fill the gaps, how to make sure that your dots are labeled correctly, and we can zoom back and forth and we can hit play one time and we can rotate around while we do this and we can enjoy our complete stick figure animation. And then we can hit stop.